Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here, hanging out with this Asian box turtle here. It's a, actually Malaysian box turtle, Cora ambienensis that I got a long time ago from the Turtle Survival Alliance. These guys were in the food markets and they were very common turtles that you'd find in the 90s and 80s. These animals were in the pet industry a lot. They were also in the food markets a lot. Uh, the thing is, is when people see that they're box turtles, you see that? They think they have the same exact behavior and same care that you need to give an North American box turtle, but that's not true. These guys love water. They are highly aquatic. They, in fact, live in little rice paddies, so they're like shallow water and uh, they do good there. Now, here in the Aquascape Pond, I like to visit this every day and just look in it and make sure that there's nothing in it. I found this lady in it, but I also found this little itty bitty baby here. It's a baby Cora ambienensis. So, so cool. Um, unfortunately, I have found babies that get sucked into the skimmer here and uh, they don't make it. So I like to make sure that I get in here and uh, check every single day so the babies don't drown. But this is so cool, everyone. These little dudes are hatching. We have a nice colony here and I find these little guys uh, all the time, which is so neat. It's awesome, man. I love, I love it when the babies, uh, you know, are found and hatched naturally in the ground. I always feel like they're just uh, a special little treat when I'm walking around. Uh, and these guys have been with me now for, oh gosh, probably 15 years I've had these ambienenses. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this little guy over to the nursery I got set up for those side neck turtles, the snake necks actually. This guy is gonna live with them no problem. So we're gonna just kind of wander around and check first just to see what's going on here and make sure there aren't any other little babies wandering around since, you know, where you find one, there's usually another. Uh, this would be the perfect area for these little guys to hide out in, but the current is pretty strong. So they probably get sucked down and then they get sucked into that skimmer. I need to figure out a way to keep them safe, to keep them from getting sucked into the skimmer. Um, I'm gonna have to talk to Ed, the pond professor about that. The best way that I've found though, is to not use the skimmer at all. Aquascape has another really cool design, which I think is better for baby turtles. So if you're gonna get an Aquascape ecosystem pond and you're gonna have it put in by the professionals, I would recommend they put in a vault system because over here in Sophia's pond, if you look, this system right here, it's my favorite system that they do because the current brings the animal into a rocky area where it can climb out no problem. So that's the best system you could possibly get. If you're gonna have a big aquascape ecosystem pond, look at in there, there's one of the spotted turtles, Indian spotted turtles. And of course, these guys are coming right over just to see what's going on. But I'm really happy about the fact that I got in there and I got this cute little baby right here uh, saved him. His little head, he was sitting up on the screen in there and he was just like, hey man, I gotta get out of here. And uh, luckily for me, I found him, or luckily for him. So really, really cool little species. These guys are omnivores. They're gonna eat plants. They're gonna eat animals. Uh, they'll eat just about anything. And like I said, they live in the rice paddies. Look at these characters poking their heads out right here. Look at these three. Doink, doink, doink. And then of course, we got a pink belly side neck. Um, really, really cool. And here's the final Central American slider coming over to say hello. So awesome that these little turtles uh, are so acclimated to me. That's what's fun about having them out here in this uh, ecosystem pond is that even though they're outside and they're in a natural kind of setting, they really do tame up and they realize that I'm the guy that brings them their food. So pretty happy about that. So this is looking good. I'm excited. Let's head on over and see what we can do We'll put this little guy in his new home. And uh, yeah, it's so awesome. We can also check in on those snake necks and maybe we'll put some food in there and see uh, if they're interested in grabbing a little uh, shrimp from Flukers. So very, very cool. Temperatures are going down uh, in the afternoon finally. It was about 100 degrees today. That's incredibly hot. So all the animals are hiding, but now, oh, it's only about 90. So they're starting to move around. Uh, here is Petra. She's sitting on top of her nest mound, but we took the eggs out. And uh, if you guys were wondering, oh, by the way, 
here they are. Check it out. Here are our Argus monitors doing well in their new habitat, but one of them just took off and uh, is now hiding. How cool are they? So awesome. But what I was going to say is I was going to give you an update on the blue iguana that was laying eggs. She laid eight perfect eggs. Um, pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, we should have some blue iguana babies here in about 90 days. So we're coming over here. Look, we've got we've got these little tiny lily pads growing. Um, pretty happy. So we'll just go ahead and let those continue to grow. I'm going to place this little dude right there and then I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these uh, river shrimp, these freeze-dried river shrimp that Fluker makes and watch what I do. This is how you get the little the little um, snake necks up. They love to eat the shrimp. And again, this is just a really nice, simple enclosure that I built a few weeks back in anticipation of the fact that I was getting these small snake necks. I wanted to raise them up, and this is going to be perfect for this little dude as well because they swim, and there's plenty for him to climb out on. Um, we got the aquatic vegetation. We got all kinds of stuff in here, so let's just put this up and just stay a little bit quiet. Oh, look. Can you guys see that? One is eating right now. There goes one right there. Oh, here's, here goes our guy. Go on, little one. Get in the water. Get in the water. There you go. How cute is this little booger? So let's see. Right to cover. You see that? Oh, and then, of course, there's a snake neck. But he went right for cover. That's what little tur turtles do. They want to hide. Oh, look. Here's a snake neck. Here's a snake neck poking out. Let's see if we can get a good shot of him. Let me see if I could get him to come out and get some food. Oh, this guy's got some food. Awesome. I love watching the snake necks eat. It is the coolest. They really come alive when we throw this shrimp in here. Awesome. I like coming to visit these guys. I like watching them eat and uh, just making sure they're doing okay in this little habitat we built for them. And they are. They're doing great. That is awesome. Here comes another one. They get a little bit shy. They are a little shy, but what are you going to do? I absolutely love them and I love the fact that we've got a new little baby Malaysian box turtle just hiding out right there so cool what's this guy gonna do look at this two of them right there Oh my god, he's so close to me. How cute, he's just looking at the camera. Hey little guy. Don't be so shy. That is awesome. These snake necks are the coolest turtles, man. They are going to town. I love it. Have you guys ever seen snake neck turtles eat? Are you guys excited to see these little snake necks grow up? and become just new members of the camp. We're going to have eight. It would be so cool one day if we wound up getting babies of these and got another... Look at the spot. He's able to swallow that whole thing. Holy smokes. There's another one. Wow. They are all out and eating. Very cool. I love that. These guys are from New Guinea. Um, they're... They're only found in southern hemisphere, the snake neck turtles. Uh, all side necks are actually found in, in that. Look at that, there's another one that's grabbing it. So cool. And they get pretty big. So these will be a really cool species to have here at the camp. These guys are going after the food too. So much fun. I love it. I love the backyard. Let me wipe you guys off here. Okay, and let's just double check on this little dude again. Oh, I think he's... 
He's gone. He's gone to look around. I'll tell you what. I'm going to throw a few more little crumblies of shrimpies. And these guys are going to eat them. Right there. Oh, he's twisting. Oh, he goes for it. Look at this. There's three of them coming out to get the food. Oh, good shot. Good shot, kid. That is amazing. And they use that neck and jut it right out to catch their prey. These guys are actual car carnivores. That's all they're interested in is eating meat from other animals. Whew, love it. Oh, you guys got some shrimp on your face there. Let me get it off. We don't want shrimp on the old camera now, do we? So, yeah, these guys are doing great. Super happy about that. Uh, super psyched to find a little baby turtle. It's awesome. Uh, let's see if we can see some of these uh, Argus monitors real quick. I love checking in on them, um, making sure that they're settling into their house nicely. So we come on over here. Look at how, look at this. There's the, there's the one right there. Yeah. Are you going to come out? Wow. Wow, you're awesome. I love how these guys stand their ground. So cool. Hi. You going to attack us? Oh, you're so tough. All right, don't worry. I'm not trying to hurt you. But look at how happy he is and that sunshine on that log. Woo! -hoo! Awesome, man. These guys give a good hiss. Oh, yes. That is a cool picture if you ask me. Wow. Love it. They've been using all this enclosure. Um, they've also been digging a lot. They love to dig burrows. You see down in here, that's why I put that dirt there. I, I don't mind them digging in that one area because I'll know that I can find them in that area if I absolutely had to. But this is so cool. Just love our new arrivals, man. How awesome is that? They're going to do good in here. We're going to, of course, uh, grow up this. Uh, this is just kind of like a grow out area for them. Um, you know, they're going to want a bigger enclosure because they get about five foot, uh, five foot long. So they're a medium sized monitor lizard. But uh, that's kind of big for most folks that live up north. So you got to make sure that you got a really big area. A uh, little bit more to see. Here's Guapo hanging out. He's looking good. She's looking good. She's being a good girl. We got two food dishes. I feed them separately just to keep any kind of negative contact uh, to a minimum. But so far, so good. They're getting along. I got no issues. I'm very happy about that. Sometimes a little time apart is good. And let's go and finish up here with the blue iguana. Plural, plural, there's more than one. Um, let's see. Okay, so I dug this out. And it was really cool, you get to see this. Um, I dug this first so I could see uh, where the eggs were. I didn't know how far back the tunnel went, but they were right here. And you see that chamber? Um, I just scraped this back. Uh, and then I was like, well, I don't need to cut that wire. I'll just go ahead and get them out from there. So I got eight awesome eggs out of the ground from this beauty where is she let's see if we can find her oh yeah here she is and look i've been feeding them so her belly is coming back there she is there she goes don't be scared don't be scared love yeah you can see she's a little she's got more lines on her belly you see she's not quite as full and that's how you know that she herself has been um has laid the eggs where there you go there you go boo. take it easy take it easy she's still a little bit wary of me but I think she's uh, going to calm down in here. Um, like I said, I can give her a lot of room. Come in here, just relax. Of course, look at this maniac. Shoo, she's getting big. Holy smokes, is she getting big or what? You are a big girl. Oh my gosh, she's awesome. Wow. And then finally, let's go have a look and see what the male's doing. He's already found, he's figured this place out. So he's got his hide area. He's beautiful. He's got that really nice tail head. So just overall, an amazing day here in the backyard because the animals are reproducing, which is awesome. You know, really cool. We got lizard eggs. We got baby turtles hatching. I'd like to do something a little bit different um, for these. These are my Chinese box turtles. They're in the same genus as the Malaysian box turtle. They're in the genus Quora. Um, and I would love to kind of get these guys set up maybe someplace else. I mean, this is good. It's fine. 
But you know what? Um, I'd like to start getting babies of them again. The thing is with these guys is that they actually, if one turtle lays eggs, another turtle finds out and they eat the eggs, uh, which I've never really seen in any other species. I'm sure it happens in other quora, but I've never seen it in any other turtle species or genus, um, and I'm sure it happens, but, um, you know, it's just something that is known. And if they see babies, they will eat the babies. So uh, we got to find those eggs quick, but otherwise they are awesome little turtles. Look at that. Really, really pretty. The yellow marginated box turtle or the Chinese box turtle, pretty animal, uh, and now more and more uh, rare and an endangered animal, as all Chelonians that are found in Asia are endangered. You gonna come up here and give me a nibble? I am, of course, wearing sandals, which could be problematic because these guys eat anything. They eat fruit, they eat meat, and they'll eat toes. Look at this guy, look at that, smart. He knows, like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to venture off that cliff. Do you guys remember when I made this little causeway? I made it because I knew we were going to have these box turtles, and I knew that they were going to need to get up and over and hang out and do some things. Maybe I'll just do some more work in here. Uh, I think maybe it's time for some more fluker uh, reptibark in here. What do you guys think? Should I get to work in here? Maybe plant some more plants. Uh, here goes a female. She's trucking along. I don't know. I could kind of dress this up a little bit, make it look a little bit better, I think. Maybe put some mulch down there mulch up here yeah i think so i think we're gonna get, we're gonna get on that that'll be a fun little day uh i love doing work in my backyard it's awesome uh you know i'm very fortunate to have this backyard it's taken years and years and years to get it to this point but there's still a lot more to do i appreciate each and every one of you watching the videos thanks for joining me here uh if you want to see where this camp started out why don't you head back? Look through the back catalog. It's like we're looking at the back of this guy's butt. Does that look like a boy to you? It is. It's a boy. He's got a giant tail. Let me show you what a girl's tail looks like on these. Let's see if we can find a dainty little rear end. There's a cute little butt. Look at this little tail. Look at her little tail. And the other guy got a big tail. So that's another gal right there. And I'm sure there's one hiding under here somewhere. We've got a pretty good amount of these little characters hanging around with us here. So I'd love to get babies of these. They're awesome. These guys do like water as well. They'll go in and out of it. And uh, you know what? It begs the... Why don't we do something fun? I think they need more water, more mulch. Let's get, let's get that on the books here, people. All right. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, always doing something to make these animals' lives better. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Say goodbye to Guapo, will you? Later, people.